This is the skyline in Lugansk in eastern Ukraine that was filmed on Sunday night. And the areas on fire here are reportedly near an airport where the military and anti-government forces have been engaged in a bitter fight. Uh, this is a video apparently filmed earlier in the day showing fighters who at the time controlled the airport shelling attacking government troops. Both sides currently claim control over the strategic area. And a massive military convoy has also reportedly approached Lugansk, including up to 80 tanks. Anti-government forces have been filmed manoeuvring their own armour to meet the enemy. And trapped in the middle of it all are millions of civilians shelling, air raids and fighting at devastating cities, villages and towns in the east. Artie's Maria Fanoshina is in Lugansk where she joined an ambulance crew for the day. They actually don't need to turn on the siren. Ambulances are almost the only cars on the empty roads of Lugansk. And recent days have left emergency workers busier than ever before. The ambulance has just now got a call that a shell hit a private house or an apartment building in a residential area here in the city of Lugansk, in the district known as Kambrod. Through a narrow street, we enter what looks like a densely populated area. Locals say at least six shells landed here just minutes ago. <laughs> This time, it seems, no one was killed, but everyone is terrified. You can see this is residential area. Ordinary people living here. Almost private houses here. And here we can see crater. A local told us this till could be an exploded mine here. Слов просто нет. Я не знаю, блин, что дальше делать, блин. Да страшно, блин, но только вышел со двора, блин, как начали бомбить, упал, ну за малым, вот, вот так. Возле меня падали осколки, вот. Возле меня и вот еще один, один со мной человек был. Вот так вот по земле, блин, лупило, блин. Не знаю, чудом жив остался, чудом, правда, чудом. While houses are still burning. No one knows whether anybody is still inside. We find out that one man was taken by another ambulance. At the Lugansk Regional Hospital, we find the man. He has suffered multiple burns and missile wounds, but doctors say he will leave. The ambulance receives another call. This time, no siren. The doctors say it's because they could be targeted. We are on our way to the area of fighting. It took us less than seven minutes to arrive at the scene, but it was still too late. This young fighter died seconds after doctors arrived. We rushed to the next address. Another shell, another destroyed home. We hear that a woman was killed here, but before we learn any further detail, the air raid siren makes us run to a nearby basement. Most of them have been abandoned for years, but recently people have reopened them. This is where we hear what happened. And while the conflict continues to rage, scenes like this are becoming an everyday reality. Marie Fnoshna, RT, in eastern Ukraine. Well, Maria is posting updates on the situation in Lugansk on her Twitter feed. You can follow her right now as she chronicles life under shelling and siege.